All right, what up Virgo? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Jeannie and you already know what it is. So let's just get into the energy. We're going to be doing an energy reading, see how they truly feel about you at this time. Uh, I've already shopped for this energy, so let's just get into it. Let's just see um, what comes out for Virgo. How do these people around Virgo truly feel about Virgo at this time? How do these people around Virgo we got the hermit, okay? We got the hermit. Ooh, shit. We got the eight of coins, the chariot, the tower, and the hierophant, okay? Some of these people, some of these people feel like you working, you're working hard, you feel me? You're working hard to move forward after a tower in a relationship. They feel like you're working hard to move forward and it's bringing some type of tower to whatever they are attached to or were attached to. This could be a job, a relationship, a commitment. These people also feel like the things that they worked hard for, they're having towers in. So these people could be losing their jobs, losing their stability, losing their relationships, losing shit. Okay, six of cups. Because the things that they did in the past. Uh -huh. Let's get into it. How do these people truly feel? We have feeling complete. Can't stop smiling. Happiness and devotion. So there's some people out here who truly feel um, complete when you're around them. You give somebody butterflies. I just heard. You give me butterflies. Alright, there's something about butterflies, sunlight, and the color yellow and orange. I feel like somebody can't stop smiling when they're around you. I feel like somebody gets a lot of happiness just talking to you. I feel like there's somebody who's devoted to you, like like butterflies are devoted to getting food from flowers. It's the energy of it's the energy of receiving substance from being around you in your happiness, in your energy. This is why these people want to pursue you, chase you. This is why they're being resilient. So if you wonder, you wonder why, Virgo, a lot of people return to you even though you're in this hermit energy, even though you out here minding your own business. If you wonder why all these people want to return to you, it's because of the substance that they get off of your energy. It's worth chasing, okay? How do these people truly feel about Virgo? All right? It's worth chasing. You are worth chasing. You are worth being persistent. You're worth hunting down. Ego. But ego plays a role. They feel like you're egotistical. They feel like you're arrogant. They feel like you're being stubborn and you're being and you're holding back from them. Okay? There's some people out here or there's a person who feels like y'all both feel this happiness. There's no way Virgo don't feel this happiness because 303, because I feel this energy, so Virgo has to feel it, okay? So why can't we continue this energy? Why are you being stubborn? Why do you have so much pride and ego? Why are you in hermit mode? Why won't you accept my terms? This is this energy. This is this person. Somebody feels like you're arrogant because maybe you have a higher moral ground, Virgo. Maybe you would rather be in hermit than to involve yourself with something. And there's somebody who feels like you have a lot of arrogance because of that. They feel like you're very stubborn because you're holding back and you're in this hermit energy. One more card. Mm, ravenous. Like I told you. It's something about your energy that gives substance. Make these folks out here ravenous. I asked for one more they gave me two. All right. We got lost. And these people, because you're holding back, because you're cutting off, Virgo, they feel empty. They feel invisible to you. They feel like you just cut them off with no hesitation at all. They feel like you were able to let something go, but they're still focused on you. That they're obsessed with you, that they're watching you, and there's no one like you. This is this energy, all right? Some of you could be dealing with people who are obsessed with you, um, have emotional problems. You feel me? Because because if somebody is holding back from you, you feel me? If somebody has cut you off and is in hermit mode, why are you chasing this person? Why are you still obsessed? Why are you still focused on the hermit? What's, what's Virgo doing in their house? But uh, uh, what's so interesting, okay? I'm not liking this energy, all right? For some of you, this could be um, some negative energy where... 
somebody got some happiness with being around you and being persistent, but you didn't feel the same way because why else would you cut them off and ghost them? And why are they obsessed with only you? I don't know. I don't like that energy, but we're going to keep it lighthearted. You feel me? I'm not going to read too much into it. <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not going to Virgo it out in this reading. You feel me? Um, but somebody feels empty that you cut them off. They feel like you're being arrogant. They know you love them, too. They're, they're so focused on you. They've been watching you. There's no one like you. Your energy cannot be replicated. They can't find you in anybody else. Okay, they can't get your energy from anything else. This, this is this person, yeah. Complacent, sluggish, bored, jaded, disinterested, numb, and uninspired. This is how they think you feel, Virgo. This is how these people feel about you. They feel like you are disinterested in them. That you're bored. That you're uninspired to try again with these people. And they write. So why are they here? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, mm -hmm. How do these folks truly feel about Virgo? Because that's crazy. If I felt like somebody was disinterested in me, I would leave them alone, right? The fuck? How do these people truly feel about Virgo? We got lost in the reverse here. They feel like you ain't lost. With this happiness and devotion and feeling complete and lost in the reverse, they feel like you're good. That you're good and happy in this sunshine and rainbows and you are not lost. Okay, you are not stuck. You are not resistant. You feel me? That's fucked up. <laughs> Virgo, these people, I'm sorry for laughing. <clears throat> but these people will feel like you're happy and you're whole. And you're not lost over them or whatever happened with this attracted raptured floored choked and speechless energy these people are intoxicated by you the way that you move the things that you say virgo you're so savage there's literally no one like you you're so funny your energy you're so smart you're so intuitive the it, it you shock people virgo you intoxicate people they get choked up and speechless around you. And this is why they think you are worth pursuing. This is why they're being persistent. This is why they're hunting you down. Because they can't find that conversation anywhere else. They can't find those funny moments anywhere else. They can't find your energy in these hoes. With the balancing, giving and receiving, awfulness, mining. See, these people think you are arrogant. See, this is why I didn't like this energy, y'all. I was wondering why I got defensive in the beginning. Because these people think you are arrogant for holding back for them. They think you are stubborn. But in reality, you're practicing the balance of giving and receiving. You're mirroring exactly what they did to you. You're very mindful of what you're giving and giving out. Getting and receiving because you're aware and you are balanced and you're complete and you're whole. It's not to be egotistical and arrogant towards people. It's to protect your peace. And this is why it made me mad. Because like, why would you be offended by somebody out here at home minding their own business? That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. When you're just very mindful and aware of everything going on. You're not being arrogant. You're protecting yourself. You're making sure your life is balanced. You're making sure you can carry your own load. And this is the energy, y'all. How do these people feel about Virgo? Yeah, wow. You cut them off, Virgo. You cut them off. Lost energy. These people feel lost without you, but you cut them off and they feel like you are relaxed. They feel like you are peaceful, composed, and balanced ever since you have cut them off. And they feel empty and lost without you. See, this is why I don't like this energy, y'all. Because there could be a 33-year-old, there could be a 33-year-old whole, whole adult who has not learned accountability and emotional intelligence at all. This could be somebody who is saying, you just ran away from them. This could be a psychopath who's like, I don't know what happened to Virgo. They just ran away. They just cut me off for no reason. They just left me here in an empty room all by myself for no reason. That's not true because tranquil peace and balance is here. Virgo left your ass for their own peace. 
<laughs> to balance themselves to become tranquil. That means that you were imposing on a piece. You feel me? That means that you were a problem. If Virgo has to leave you for a piece, they didn't leave you for no reason. They didn't leave you high and dry. That just means you have no accountability. So there's a whole adult here who has no accountability about the toxic things they may have done to you to make you go and find peace. Instead, they just want to blame you. Be of guarded, isolated, alone, companyless, alienated, and lost. Only you. These people feel like they're focused on you, observing you, and watching you. They feel like there's no one like you, okay? With this energy, they feel like also you're only focused on yourself. You're only watching out for yourself. You're only observing yourself. They feel like you're guarded, that you're alone and you have no company, but you're good. These people are questioning like, why the fuck? Would Virgo rather be alone than to deal with me? Let me help you, cross watcher. It's because you were imposing off Virgo's peace. You see how peaceful? You see how peaceful this, this image look right here? Does that man look emotionally frazzled? Does that man look like he's going through anything? This is the peace that you require. And it may come from you isolating and guarding yourself and being companyless, but it's tranquil, it's peaceful, it's controlled, it's positive, it's balanced. It allows you to be the energy that they crave so much. And I feel like these people don't even understand that. How do these people truly feel about Virgo? We have daydream. A lot of these people are daydreaming. Daydreaming about you. A lot of these people feel like you being completely fine over not. Wow. Some of these people... Some of these people feel like your happiness and you showing up like you're not stuck over them is an illusion. They, some of these people feel like you're faking and that you really want them and you really love them or something. Some fucking weirdos, child. Some weirdos. Somebody's looking at you in this happy energy, peaceful, alone, minding your business. Then they're like, that has to be an illusion. Virgo has to miss me. Like, if you don't get the fuck out of here how sad anyways with this <laughs> with this pursuit to energy and triumph there's people here who want to who want to win they want to they want to be the one who successfully uh wins virgo they want to be the one who successfully hunts you down they want to be the one who who gets this positive rate of energy they want to be the one who wins virgo achieves getting you so there's out there's people out here who are um competing willing to compete to win you okay what's ego you may say no a lot you may tell these <laughs> i'm saying i'm saying you may tell these people no a lot you may be holding back from people but that's because you are mindful of this giving and receiving because you love yourself you are too much con concerned with yourself you have healed to a point where you're okay with not giving and receiving what people well you're okay with with doing it all on your own and some of these people are really getting offended and thinking that it's your ego and your arrogance. Nah, it's just self-love, baby. Get some of that. Because if you loved yourself, you wouldn't be back here playing games. That's for sure. They need to stop. I'm telling you, if you loved yourself, you wouldn't be back here playing games with somebody who's in hermit mode. Not, get out of here. This is too much. <laughs> it's too much. How do these people feel about you? Schedule, plan, ah shit, overload. These people, <clears throat> these people feel like you have cut them off 
and you have stuck to some type of plan and that's why you're so composed and balanced some of these people think that you're planning to do something all right and they scared okay they scared they scared they overwhelmed by what they can't see and that's why they want to collaborate with you to learn and avoid some type of disaster but you're not about to risk your peace to deal with people who cause you mis misfortune, even if they are friends. So this is the energy. Somebody out here, okay, they're lost. Okay, they feel lost. They feel like you cut them off. They feel invisible, like you don't even see them. This is giving me the energy. Have y'all seen Chicago? Uh, you can walk right by me, look right through me, and never know I'm there. There's somebody, oh my God. There's somebody who was in the background, Virgo. There's somebody who was stalking you in the back. Hold on. Hold on. There's, there's somebody who plans and organizes ways to see you because you have cut them off. And they feel like invis they're invisible because they have been in the background of several of scenarios in your life and you did not notice them at all. With this hermit energy, you were looking down at the ground, you were looking at the stars. I don't know, you were looking at something, Virgo, but you didn't know it is somebody in the background. There's somebody that you have cut off, okay? There's somebody, y'all go watch the Chicago movie or go look up the scene so you know what I'm talking about. The Chicago movie, there's a man who, uh, who did something for his, uh, for some woman who cheated on him. It was his wife. There was a man who lied for his wife because she cheated on him and killed a man. Okay? And the the whole time, you feel me? The whole time this person was invisible. All they did was give money, lie. Uh, all they did was like, just... <clears throat> all they did was got played. Okay? There's somebody who feels like a clown. All right? There's somebody who feels like a clown because they feel like they were married to you. They feel like you they were married to you and you out here cheating on them. Okay? They feel like they may have helped you get out of some type of trouble. They may have given you money in some type of way. They did something to help you and then you cut them off. And now you're relaxed and tranquil. And now this person stalks you in the background and sings weird songs. <laughs> somebody in the background, somebody in the background scored, Virgo. They talk about you so much. They talk about how how you did them wrong, blah, blah, blah. And you over here are peaceful after you did them so wrong. Because in the Chicago, in the Chicago movie, this woman was buried to that man. This woman did cheat on that man. And then she killed the man and then made her husband lie to the police. And then when he started questioning about the police, he realized that this bitch was cheated on him. So he told the truth and she went to jail. And then on top of that, he bailed, he, he got her money for a lawyer. And then after the trial, she still didn't get back with him. So this man, this man feels like you did something. It doesn't have to be cheating and it doesn't have to be murder, but you did something where you needed help. Okay, in some type of way. And they showed up for you. Some of these people, they could have felt like they even lied for you. They showed up for you. They put money up for you. You feel me? And you, and, and the whole plan was, Virgo, the plan the whole time was to use them for your own peace and then leave them empty. Go check on this person. Okay, there's someone who really feel like a clown. They really feel like a clown. Because they feel like the whole plan of you dealing with them was to gain your own peace. Okay? And this is, you may not view the situation like that. But there's somebody out there in the world that feels like they lied for you, put up money for you. You feel me? They did shit for you. And now you, you act like they're invisible, Virgo. 
and you were over here in your peace, triumphant, tranquil, and that was a plan the whole time to use, use this person to get your own peace. There's somebody out here lost, family, in the dark. This person is in the background of, of many scenarios in your life right now. In the background, in the living room, sitting on your couch, in your face, invisible. On some stalker shit, not gonna lie. But somebody really feel like that, Virgo. They feel obligated to help you. That's some sad energy, man. Whew. What's only you here? Merit making. Mm -hmm. Overloaded again. Some of these people feel obligated to make things right with you because they are obsessed with you or because you're isolated, Virgo. Since you pulled yourself back and you have isolated yourself and you have guarded yourself, some people are dedicated. They feel obligated to try to make it right to get back in your life. All right. They feel like what you're doing is obviously a sign. Even though you're good, it's obviously a sign that they should come make it right so some of these people may just come apologize to you it's not like they want to get back in your life or do something terrible <clears throat> but they feel bad they feel bad some of these people um feel like you are guarding yourself and you are alone right now because of some shit that they may have done all right and they want to apologize that on that that on that okay how these people feel about Virgo? Judgment. They feel like you got your mind made up. Yeah, King of Swords energy. They feel like you got your mind made up, okay? That you cut with a sword. You cut deeply with the shit that you say. I feel like with the Judgment and the King of Swords energy, you come off real cold, Virgo. Real fucking cold. All right, they feel like you come off cold, but also with the judgment and the king of swords, they feel like there's something about you. You have a lot of authority. You have a lot of knowledge, okay? You are someone who speaks the truth. How do these people feel about Virgo? Some of these people... Some of these people feel like there's some type of restriction that ended this or there was some type of mind state. There was something wrong with these people with the eight of swords. Some of these people feel like <clears throat> somebody feels an imprisonment by the ending of something. Some of these people feel like stuck in an ending because they want to come towards you and get this victory. They want to have this start energy with you. But with the Five of Swords and the Queen of Swords and the Justice card, some of these people feel like they, this could have been people who came for you, okay, who attacked you in some type of way. And it's their justice here. It's their justice for you to morph towards happiness and disconnect from them and for them to have to, damn, to have to sit there and be stuck because of their lives they did when they were dating you. Damn. Somebody feels restricted in this death energy, okay? They feel restricted. That's just not on that. How do these people feel about Virgo? Nine of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. That's that on that on that on that on that on that on that. I love that energy. This middle section, I can agree with. Everything else? <laughs> everything else is kind of questionable um but with this nine of cups and the ten of coins energy for how they feel about you with this arrogance um people feel like um you're very arrogant because you're emotionally balanced you feel me with this nine of cups energy people feel like you're arrogant because you're satisfied with yourself and the things that you do and with this ten of coins energy they feel like you are rich Okay, these people feel like you are rich in spirit, rich financially. You're doing, you're well off by yourself. You can take care of yourself. You feel me? These people <clears throat> could also 
want to create a family tie with you. You are somebody, you are somebody who is the ideal partner. You're this, you're somebody who is ideal for marriage, long term, a family tie. These are people, there's somebody here who feels like, like Virgo, you know, you know, both of us together would be satisfaction. There's somebody, oh shit. There's somebody who feels like you're being arrogant because they know that they're your wish fulfillment. And they know, you know, that you're their wish fulfillment. They know y'all both can come together and, and create a family tie. But there's something about your self-love. There's something about your independence. There's something about your mindfulness. You cannot, you cannot just go along with things, Virgo, because you love yourself. And I feel like somebody is thinking that's ego. They're saying... If we really do love each other, why can't we make it work in the way that we can make it work? But the way that they want to make it work, work conflicts with your self-love. So it's just, I don't know what to tell them. It is what it is. I see you got a boundary to this person. It is what it is. All right. What else is here? Cutting off energy. We've got the king pin and the knight of wands. And we got the queen of cups. <clears throat> there's somebody here who is planning um to try to get in this like provider energy like somebody somebody feels invisible to you they feel like you only need them to provide you only come in and out of their life um what the fuck so this this person could be your father some of y'all daddies or mothers, parent parent figures feel like you only come in and out of your life, in and out of their life when you need help, when you need to regain your composure. Some of you feel this could be your your parents or somebody you're dependent on, Virgo, that feels like they provide you sustenance occasionally with this nine of wands energy, but you you make them feel invisible. This could be a mother figure. Okay, or somebody that you had a relationship with, but there's, there's, it's giving me the energy if somebody feels like that you, they provide for you here and there. And other than that, you're invisible or they're invisible to you. They only help you get some type of composure. Y'all better figure out who this is. Because mm. I don't like the energy. I just don't. Uh, I, how do these people feel about that? I'm stuck watching. Stuck watching you. I don't like this. Heartbroken. Yo, if you're cross watching for a Virgo right now and you're obsessed with that Virgo and you're stuck watching them, please go get some help. You feel me? Go seek a therapist. Go do something productive with your life. If you're watching a Virgo isolate themselves from you, run away from you, go to links to move to islands to get away from you, and you're still stuck watching this Virgo, you are the person who needs help. You are the person who, who, who needs to be admitted to psychiatric, a psychiatric center. Where they can zap you, okay, zap your brain until you don't think about Virgo anymore. Because with this hermit energy, y'all, and I'm serious, this is giving you the energy of a stalker. That somebody who does not realize the severity of their mental issues. You you know how psycho psychologically messed up you have to be to stalk someone who is running away from you? That's the, that's the crazy, and then this person has the nerve to be heartbroken. What? Like, go get some help. Get some help. This person has a memory of when you were given to them. Maybe even in a higher commitment. And how you were in a toxic cycle with a karmic. Somebody who was destroying your peace. 
So if somebody was in a dynamic with you where you were giving to them and they were benefiting, but it was depleting you. And this is the person who is watching you. <clears throat> Heartbroken that you're independent from them. Oh, okay, this, this was very eye-opening, um, Virgo. Um, I feel like there's at least uh, one, two, three, four, five to six people um, who are floating around your energy, who think certain things about you. Um, and yeah, this is the energy that I got here for you. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to your channel to see what's coming up next to the Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.